Hello everyone, this is Grant, and today I'm going to show you how to install Stable Diffusion on the Windows 11 operating system. The first thing you'll want to do is open up your command prompt on Windows. I have it in my quick launch bar, but you can just simply hit the Windows key and type in run cmd and it will open up a command prompt as well. Let's make the font a little bit bigger. The first thing we want to do is check if we have Git installed on our system. Git is a revision control system for most operating systems out there. As you can see, we do not have it installed, so let's pop over to Chrome and download Git for Windows. I'll put the link in the description. So let's download Git, put it in our download folder. That'll take just a second. And we will start the installer for Git for Windows. We're just going to click Next, and then it's going to ask us where we want to install it. For the most part, we're just going to accept all of the defaults here. Click on Next, and Next, and Next, and Next. Alright, so this is installing. It should be done in just a second. Okay, so Git is installed. Let's go ahead and launch the Git bash session. And this will open up a Linux-like environment for us. Um, but we should have Git installed now. Let's check our current directory. Uh, let's go ahead and make a new directory called code and go inside that directory. And then let's make a new directory called, um, let's call it AI. Or, yeah, AI. And let's go into that directory. Okay, so now that we have Git installed, the first thing we want to do is download the web user interface for Stable Diffusion, the one that is pretty popular and everyone uses. Again, I'll put the link to the description. This is a Stable Diffusion web UI in the automatic 1111 repository. So if you're not used to Git, all you need to do is click on this code icon here, click on this copy button, go back over to our Git bash screen, and we can type in Git clone, and then paste in that uh, repository. Make sure that you delete this junk that it put in for whatever reason. And that's going to download that repository to our local system. The next thing we'll want to do is install Python on our system. And so I'm going to use Python 3.10.6. Again, I will put a link to the description for you. Let's scroll down and see if we can find the Windows installer. And here it is. I'm going to download this, put it in my downloads directory. Okay, so let's start up the Python installer just by clicking on the download link. And the most important thing here is to make sure that you click this check box right here, add Python 3.10 to your path. This will allow you to use it uh, while you're on the command line from anywhere on your system. And then we'll click install now. This will take just a second. And while this is uh, installing, you may want to go ahead and close out of your git bash session and your command prompt session as well. Um, and that's because the current environment will not get updated with Python being on your path if you already have it open. So let's go ahead and pop open a new command prompt here. And let's just verify that we have Python on our path now. And you can see I do. I type in Python and we should all be good. Um, okay, so the next thing we want to do is actually download the model file for Stable Diffusion. So, so far we have Git installed, we have the web UI uh, for our Stable Diffusion environment uh, downloaded, and we have Python downloaded. So let's go ahead and download the model now that we're going to use it. For this, you need to go over to Hugging Face. Um, this is a very popular community, and you'll need to actually create an account for Hugging Face. Now, I've never actually done this before, and this is honestly the first time I've tried installing Stable Diffusion on my system, so we'll go through this together. I'm going to click on Sign Up, and I'm going to put my uh, email address in here, and I'll blur this out, and I'll put in a password. Oh, 
Let's uh, put in a more secure password. There we go. And we'll give ourselves a username. And uh, we want to be G Shipley Grant. G Shipley. Uh, yeah. Create an account. Okay. So that will create us an account. And now we need to download and install the model that we want. And it's a pretty popular one. So all we want to do is search for stable uh, diffusion here. Diffusion is going to give us some here. This is the version 1.5 from Runway Ilmel. So let's click on that. And if we scroll down, we should see two downloads. One is 4.2 gigs and one is 7.7 .7 gigs. Let's go ahead and download this first one here uh, to ask for access. Okay. This is interesting. Let's see what's going on here. How do we ask for access? Please check your email address for a confirmation link. Okay, so we just created our new account, so we're not going to be able to download this until we actually verify our email address. So I'm going to do that real quick, and then I'll jump back in once I've uh, verified my email address. You can see the, the error message right there. Okay, so now that I have verified my email address, let's try downloading this package again. And it says access to model is restricted. You are not in the authorized list. Let's go back and see. Please read access to this repository, but you have to accept the conditions to access its file. Oh, okay. So we just need to click this button right here. There we go. Now we can scroll down and we should be able to download the latest 1.5. We're going to put this in our download directory. And this is quite a large file. It's 4 gigs, so it's going to take roughly 40 more seconds, 45 seconds. And then we will uh, come back here. Okay, the model has now been downloaded. So what we need to do now is copy that model over to our... Um, user interface that we downloaded before. So I'm going to go to my C drive and if I remember I created a directory called code and then AI and then stable diffusion web UI. Um, this is where we can place all of our models and other things so let's go into the models directory and I believe we can just copy and paste um, that download over. So let's try that. Let's go to downloads. Here is the four point uh, one gigabyte file. Let's paste that into Stable Diffusion and paste that in. And now I did read and I saw on YouTube that some people are saying you need to change this to say model. So that's fine. Um, okay, so we should all be good here. So let's open up our command prompt. We're in our code AI directory. Let's go into Stable Diffusion directory. And we want to run this webui.bat file. So let's run that up. It's creating the virtual environment using Python for us. <coughs> Installing Torch and Torch Vision. I actually have no idea what that is. Um, but we'll let this uh, webui.bat uh, go off and run for a while. And then we'll check back in once it's actually started up. Okay, as you can see, the startup has finished it, and you can also see that it downloaded quite a few things here. Now, this does take a few minutes. On my machine, it took a good five, five minutes or so, and my machine is a Core i9-10900, 128 gigs of RAM, and a NVIDIA 4090 graphics card. But we should see that it's running now. So let's open this up in a web browser. And this is the web user interface. So let's go ahead and try something out. Let's try mailbox on a country road. Click on generate. And this will take a bit to generate, but we'll look at the results. Okay, so we got one result. Uh, and we can look at that. Not bad. So let's try something else. Mailbox on a country road with a frog. And generate. 
I don't see a frog in here. <laughs> okay, um, so that, that was an interesting first experiment. So let, let's try this again. Mailbox on a country road. I had to read some documentation here. And we'll generate a, a new image here. And so this is our mailbox on a country road. What you can do now is, um, let's do something fun with a frog jumping again. But you can actually put these in parentheses and it will give it a weight on how important it is. So let's put two parentheses around this and, and um, maybe it'll actually add that frog in for us. Let's see what we got here. I still don't see a frog jumping. Let's generate again. <clears throat> there we go. There's a mailbox on a country ro road with a frog jumping. <laughs> so uh, pretty pretty fun stuff. Let's try one of uh, one of these prompts um, from the internet that I found. I, there's some really cool ones on here. Let's do this Keanu Reeves one. Let's copy that, put it into our stable diffusion. And there's a lot of documentation here that I obviously need to read to understand what all those items mean. Uh, let's see what our results look like here. Oh, there we go. There's my AI generated Keanu Reeves image. Pretty fancy. So this has been a fun experiment. Um, I hope this you found this video helpful. Again, I'll put all the links in the description and have fun trying out stable diffusion.